The historic Bedford Fairgrounds Raceway has seen its fair share of families, but only one has put three generations of winning on the track, the Troutman family. 16-year-old Drake is one of the hottest names in dirt track racing, but this family's latest chapter moves on this year without one of its champions. Racing is the ultimate family sport. They've been in racing now for probably 35 years, so uh, it's, it's been a heck of a ride. At Bedford Fairgrounds Speedway, the name Troutman has been prominent since the 90s. Last year, uh, Drake got his first late model win here, and we made a list of, I think there was 14 fathers and sons, uh, including him and his father and his grandfather, uh, who had won a late model feature here. Drake Troutman is a third generation driver at the historic track, Pennsylvania's oldest. His grandfather, Dave, began racing in the 90s. His dad, DJ, was the 2015 track champion. Drake grew up around the sport and now carries his family's legacy. I was at my first race whenever I was a few weeks old. You know, I'm growing up around it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm on this earth to race. <laughs> like, that's what I'm here for. Growing up watching his family drive, when Drake turned 11, it was finally his turn. He began running modifieds. With his father by his side, he flourished to one of the top young drivers in the country. This year, Drake races without his role model in the pits. He was the rock of the race team. And uh, not just that, but I mean, he was my best friend, you know. So it's, it's a major setback, but you got to just look forward to that day. You get to see him again. It took some time for it to even set in that, uh, you know, you weren't going to see DJ in the car, or DJ in the pits, or DJ um, helping Drake. You know, he's, he's not going to be forgotten um, around here or, or in any of the tracks around the area because he, he was such a huge, uh, had such a huge footprint. Last summer, DJ contracted COVID in August and died. He was 39. Just over a week after his dad's death, Drake returned to the track, winning his first race back. I mean, I think about him all the time. You know, there's not a day that goes by that I'm not like, man, I wish he was here, you know. Every day you walk in here, and I know that if it wouldn't be for him, I wouldn't have you know, these two race cars sitting in here and, and all the motors and stuff that we have. That win at Roaring Knob Speedway is one of 73 for the driver nicknamed The Kid. At 16 years old, he's one of the sport's great young drivers and his eyes are locked on a professional career, something he and his dad planned together. To be 16 and dealing with, with what all happened is definitely Definitely overwhelming, but you know, that doesn't change what we wanted to do. Like, like I said, we want to make it to the top and uh, it makes me want it that much more just because I know that that's what we'd be doing if he was here. So I feel like I owe that to him. Now Drake has won five of his last seven races this season. If you want to catch him in action at Bedford Fairgrounds, he's scheduled to return to the track Memorial Day weekend. Well, St.